Hello guys, uh, today we are going to create one of this uh, spoon here. This spoon is I use, I created this spoon and the fork here using the uh, scalp, uh, which is this uh, form here. Uh, form is basically is the new feature in the fusion, which is we can allow us to click and drop and modify, rotate and so many things we can do with this uh, form uh, environment and then after that we can uh, use this uh, form and convert it into a solid okay let's get started I click a new design and I just simply click this uh, new form here okay and then I started with the spare uh, this HY plane is a uh, basically a plane that we are started to create this form and we also can set the diameter I choose 40 okay 40 as a diameter uh, this is the longitudine longitude phase and latitude phase basically we can adjust the number of this uh, you can see there's a changes here in the longitude and as well as the latitude we can add as many as we can but uh, in this case I use 8 by 8 and then uh, I click OK and uh, from the front view I deleted server face here which is the uh, upper of this pair and I click delete and it's just a uh, show us a parabolic shape and I can uh, select all the space and click edit form in the front view I can use this scale in the modify command when I click and drag it will be scaling those uh, faces here okay we can also edit this uh, 0.7 or like else uh, and then uh, I click OK and from the top view I also click edit form and I basically scale this to 0.6 Six five and six five so it's okay. Okay, and then this modify form also can add uh, another faces. Let's say if we if I click this edges here, and I hold on my Alt key, and after that I click and drag this uh, arrow here, so it will edit a face. I edit more two and then three part okay and also this uh, edge here is a kind of a parabolic shape so I can also uh, scale it up so it's much more likely a vertical uh, vertical edge here uh, wait I have to quit yeah and then I click OK so this edge I can add another face but uh, maybe just one section a little bit to make sure this face is added and then I orient my view to the front view and I also use this uh, button to simply uh, out and edit segment here and also out and edit segment over here and one more thing I edit segment to uh, shape like this okay as we can see there is a added a new shape here 
is for the fork basis and I click OK and I also want to create a little bit uh, narrow, narrow here to make this spoon is uh, quite handy for hand to handle or maybe uh, much more likely a uh, ergonomic shape and also I added this line here or edge here and I move it down a little bit so it will create a form yeah, to strengthen the shape of this uh, spoon and I hit OK okay I think the spoon will be a little bit uh, I edit this one oh no this one so it's much a little bit uh, shorter over there and then I can click finish form to convert it into a surface so basically this surface will create a thicken if you would like to give a thickness with a symmetric and the thickness will be 2.5 okay oh, I think 2.5 is too much okay 2.5 too much 1.5 yeah, maybe property one is uh, good enough. Okay, I think one is enough. Okay, and then I click OK. Uh, as you can see, this shape is uh, converted into a body, which is a uh, solid. So as is this a solid, we can add a more sketch here. I create a sketch the xy plane and I create a line here yeah okay here and here and this line is I convert to the construction line and also I want to make equal this one and this one make it equal and also I will align this this point here to be aligned with the center point okay and then uh, maybe we can add a dimension here dimension with uh, 4 and also dimension for this 15 yeah okay we can still position it a little and then i click stop sketch and also simply we just extrude this face to the down to cut with the profile and i choose all for the cutting profile and then we just add a fillet here Okay, over there, 0.5. Yeah, I think it's enough. 0.5. And also, I want to pattern this particular uh, object here. I use a feature pattern. I click the feature, uh, extrude it, and the uh, fillet. And the direction will be this axis here. Okay, and this is the direction. Okay. Oh no, I miss. Oh, the direction will be the y axis. Okay, and then we 
also give a symmetric shape uh, this one is one for the another direction and let's give a try okay yeah I think it's a little bit uh, white here it's okay it's okay it's a little bit white but uh, don't worry if you look this uh, shape is not really nice we also can uh, as you can see here there's the uh, quite a strain maybe I want to edit this don't worry we can also edit this form right click and then you click edit we can still edit to this face like so uh, I put these edges here and I scale it up a little bit here as well I scale it up a little bit so it gives us a new shape here can still doing this uh, update and when we click finish form it will automatically update as well as the solid area and we can give this a uh, fillet here to add another fillet over here maybe I use 0.4 okay and also this one I add another fillet the fillet is all the way over there using 0 0.4 okay and then as well as the bottom area there is this fillet 0 0.4 as well Okay, and hit OK. Okay. I think the spoon is uh, finished already. And we can continue to the rendering. Render envir environment. So, uh, maybe this position here, I'm not satisfy enough so I would like to edit this uh, shape over here uh, give a little bit more small smaller I mean okay So it's computing all the feature over there. We just wait for a minute. <coughs> so basically, we can do this uh, shape over here. It's uh, very quickly and very intuitive for maximizing our uh, design. I would like to edit this one as well. A little bit small. So I think this one is, uh, this uh, tutorial will give you an idea uh, how to create or working with the scalp environment. Uh, we can continue to the rendering and we just simply hit render to render up this. Uh, spoon here okay I think that's it uh, please uh, give a like if you like my video and click don't forget to click subscribe to see or to get the latest on on my 
next video.